My name is Adrian Andrews. Welcome to Everyday Athlete. On this week's video, a real change of scenery for me. I'm in Cambridge because I've been invited for a video coaching session with the Cambridge Swimming Company at the Jesus Green Lido. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I must be nearby because he keeps it, yeah. telling me I'm almost here. Yeah, yeah. I had a quick chat with the coaches about what to expect from the session and what I hope to get out of it. Then I headed off to get changed. Sent on this way because the change rooms are down here. <laughs> Yeah, so change bathroom and showers just at the end. Perfect. Um, the wooden bit there was just being our best. Yep. Changes. Okay, lovely, thank you. Wow, I've never seen such a whopper of a Lido. This is a hundred feet long. Oh, let's hope I can make a few lengths of it and make it worth their while. Time to get changed first though. Look at these little places. This place is cute. If you're in Cambridge, give it a go. Well, I guess I get myself changed in one of these lovely little stalls. Right, I'm all ready. I must say, I am a little bit nervous, um, especially with the old COVID hangover that I'm dealing with, but I'm sure they'll be kind to me. Well, let's hope. Having had a little chat with Joff and Colin before I went to get changed, it was straight to action with what in Formula One would be called an installation lap, where I had a swim up and down so that they could take a look at my current technique and see what pointers they could give me in order to improve. As you can see, I'm fairly flat in the water and the breathing looks okay, so we decided to work on hand entry, trying to get my hands to go in flatter rather than sideways and also a little bit further extended so that I get a more efficient stroke. After a quick explanation, Colin got me working on extending my arm out and being more relaxed in the water. Joff then explained about keeping my hands closer to the water for a more efficient recovery stroke. So I gave that a go too. Okay. You thought your arm out here, yeah. your other arm's going in here and then you rest. Okay. And then it's sort of you're know, reaching forward yeah. and you know, just begin to attach. So if you hold it like that. Yeah. Colin then explained a drill about how to get my hand going in straight into the water rather than um, a sideways entry. So here I am having a little go at working at that. It doesn't have to take a lot of concentration and uh, I think I was cheating a little bit here, but it's something for me to work on in the future. Well, thank you ever so much for inviting me down. I've had an absolutely cracking time at um, Jesus Green Lido. What a lovely venue. It's brilliant. 
perfect. Is it is it somewhere that you guys teach often? Uh, Colin is the kind of. So I'm here every Monday. Well, for the first time ever, I ran out of battery at the end of that, so I didn't get to do a little wash-up conversation with Colin and Joff, and to really thank them. They really gave me some great tips that I can work on, and I've come down to the beach now to give that a go. I really want to try to improve my hand entry and the efficiency as I'm swimming. So, even though I'm a coach myself and I'm an outdoor swimming coach, actually, Taking some uh, some time to work on my own stroke is really going to pay dividends, especially given that I've been struggling with not feeling very well after COVID. So I'm hopeful that making my stroke more efficient will make things a lot easier going forwards. So if you're in any doubt whatsoever and thinking about whether or not uh, coaching is for you, just go for one session and see how you get on, because I guarantee you'll find something that will improve your stroke and make swimming a little bit more enjoyable for you. I hope you've enjoyed this week's video and if you have you'll give it a like and drop me a comment let me know if you've taken any coaching or if you're thinking of doing so and I'll pop all the links in the description below. Please give it a subscribe because I'd love to have you along for the journey. I'll see you next time. Bye!